Welcome everybody to today's summer flow. Getting started in Tadasana at the front of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up nice and high. As you exhale, hands through heart center. Swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, step the feet back into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. As you exhale, hips up and back, downward dog, taking this time to walk it out, and then lifting your left leg nice and high. Inhale, as you exhale, step it in between the hands, setting up for your high lunge. Inhale, reach up, rise up through the arms. As you exhale, twist over to that left side. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. As you exhale, cactus the arms open through the chest. Elbows are at 90 degrees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open through the chest. One more time. Inhale, exhale, open through the chest. Then plant the hands back and down. Step the left foot back. Inhale, as you exhale, take your flow. And then we'll meet in downward dog. Opposite side, inhale, reach the right leg nice and high as you exhale. Step it in between the hands, find your stability, your grounding, and then reach up, rise up through the chest on your next inhale. As you exhale, twist over to the right. Inhale, back to center, high lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms, open through the chest, through the heart. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, cactus, open through the heart. Inhale, reach up through the arms. Exhale, draw those elbows to 90. And then place the hands onto the ground. Finding your downward dog here. Skipping our flow, just pressing into the hands. Then inhale, slowly jump the feet towards the hands. Or you can step. Bending through the knees, hinging from the hips, finding your chair pose. Inhale, reach up through the hands as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, finding your mountain pose, reach the arms overhead, maybe slight back bend. Exhale, hands through heart center. Grounding once again through your right foot, lift your left, left knee is at 90 degrees. And hug the left knee in towards the chest, finding your stability, your balance here. Inhale as you exhale. See if you can catch that left foot behind you, finding a quad stretch. Reach the right arm nice and high. Maybe finding halfway to your dancers. Maybe full dancers, pressing that left hand into the left foot and vice versa. So you want to find that balance between the pressures. And then bringing your right hand either down or extending and then finding your Tadasana once again. And then opposite side, hugging the right knee in towards the chest. And then as you inhale, pressing that right hand away with the foot, balancing, engaging the core, maybe coming slightly forward and then more forward into your dancers, and then shaking it out. It's always okay to fall. Inhale, reach the arms overhead as you exhale. Find your fold, so just release here. Breathe, and then step back into your downward dog. You can walk out the dog here, taking a few breaths, reconnecting, and inhale, lift the left leg nice and high. As you exhale, step it in between the hands. Lower the right knee. Untuck the toes, or you can keep them tucked. Low lunge, lift the arms overhead. And then as you exhale, finding your half split pose. Then inhale, coming forward to low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. And then walk the left foot to the outsides of the hands. Finding your lizard pose here. You can walk it out just a bit farther if you'd like, or you can allow the knee to fall out to the side if you'd like to get deeper into the iliopsoas muscle. 
This is really great to release tight emotions, blocked emotions, and extend back into your half split. Or if you'd like, you can stay there or maybe extend into your full Hanumanasana, your full split, making sure to keep the chest and the heart upright, sinking back into the sit bones, into the hips. Inhale, deep inhale. Maybe reaching arms overhead as you exhale, hands to heart center. And then you can find your fullest expression of the pose. As long as you feel the stretch, you're doing it right. <laughs> and then come back up. And then bring the soles of the feet out to the sides, the inner thighs out to the long edge of the mat or the side into your straddle position. And then finding your forward fold, first hinging from the hips, and then allowing the body to collapse. We're making this a restorative, easy pose, so no need to press the chest open. And then whenever you feel called, walking yourself back up, closing the legs together, bringing the toes down, so we're pointing them, extending through the quads, bringing the fingertips back, and then maybe finding your reverse bridge, pressing into the shoulders, and then sitting the hips back down. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. As you exhale, find your forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Really extend, allow the quads to engage. And whenever you feel ready, bending through the left knee, inhale, reach the right arm overhead. Open through the chest as you exhale, finding your tabletop and then your plank, exhaling into a downward dog. Inhale, reach your right leg nice and high. As you exhale, stepping it in between the hands, finding that low lunge. Inhale, reach up, rise up through the chest, through the arms. As you exhale, extending into your Hanumanasana half split pose. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hamstring stretch with control, making sure to square off the hips. And then finding your lizard pose on your right side, finding your fullest variation whenever you feel ready. Remember, if you're bringing that knee out to the side, flexing deeply through the right foot. This is to protect our knee. Allow us to go deeper into that outer hip stretch. Really allow yourself to sink, to melt, to surrender. And then inhale, come back up. As you exhale, finding your half Hanumanasana or full split pose. So this is just about the opening of the hamstrings of the hips. You can inhale the arms overhead, exhale them back down, maybe press into the hands, inhale, reach them overhead, and exhale back down. Now finding your fold in this position, if you're in that half pound manasana, seeing if you can go just a bit deeper without forcing, just letting gravity take you here. Whenever you feel called, inhale, coming back up. Back into your half split. And then as you exhale, low lunge. Coming up into your high lunge now, extending through the back leg, opening through the chest and the belly. Inhale. And then as you exhale, Placing the left hand down, reaching the right arm up, coming into a twisted high lunge. And then turning onto that blade edge of the right foot. Reaching behind you with the right hand, finding an outer hip stretch. Inhale back to that lunge. As you exhale, finding outer hip stretch, reaching behind you. Inhale back, really flowing here, nice graceful movements. Exhale, extend, and hugging the knee to the chest. Crossing right ankle over left thigh. Inhale, reach the left arm nice and high as you exhale, twisting over the right knee. 
gazing over the back shoulder. Inhale, spinning all the way back around. Exhale, ending in our three-legged dog with the right leg nice and high. Then placing the right leg down, inhale, lift the left. As you exhale, finding your lunge on the left side. Nice high lunge here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, place the hands down to frame the left foot. Lowering the right knee. Placing the right hand down. Inhale, lift the left arm nice and high. As you exhale, finding that outer hip stretch reaching behind you. Flexing deeply through that left foot. Coming onto the blade edge. Exhale. Outer hip stretch. Inhale. Back to your lunge. Exhale. And then hug the knee to the chest. Finding your twist on the other side. Inhale as you exhale. Deep detoxifying twist here. Really relax. Sink in. And then from here, we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. Knees apart. Bring the chest forward. And then if you'd like, you can either find an open-hearted fold or allow the upper body to cave in, really allow the hips to release, surrender, then inhale whenever you're ready, extending through the legs, sitting up in your staff pose, your dandasana, and then bending through both knees, bringing the ankles together, roll the shoulder blades down the back. And then inhale as you exhale, finding your reverse bridge with knees bent, making sure those knees are tracking in towards each other, pressing into the glutes, and then sit back down, finding your dandasana one more time. And if you'd like, you can take that reverse bridge again, or you can find your full wheel. Remember, wheel is always about pushing into the hands, and using your back as a basis of, ex of extension and of compression, but not too much compression. So if you feel that it's too hard on your back, always coming back down whenever you're ready. Fully releasing into your final resting pose from that wheel. If you feel like you need a counter stretch, I suggest hugging the knees to the chest for a few moments. Knowing that you've earned this final resting pose, this final shavasana. Breathing deep into the belly. Inhale. And exhale. Tapping into your awareness. Your consciousness the spaciousness of your body, of your mind, of your energetic self. How do you feel now compared to the beginning of practice? How have these brief moments of breath, of surrender, and of self-love changed your space, your perspective? And then whenever you're ready, Rolling on to one side, propping yourself up to a seated position. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. As you exhale, hands to heart center. For more little of the yogi videos to leave you feeling blissful, relaxed, and as you are now, please remember to subscribe. It would mean the world to us. Namaste.